Hi everybody, thanks for joining us for another video. Today I'm upgrading the single channel RAM in our Dell G15 gaming laptop with an 8GB Crucial DDR4 stick. Right off the bat I turn off my laptop and then I turn it around, check out all the screw locations. This laptop was a little bit trickier than some of the other laptops I've upgraded in the past only because there are these two screws on the side you can see circled there that holds down the back of the case panel so first of all I unscrewed those two it took me a little while just because they were kind of tight I was kind of surprised with how tight those screws are maybe that's good because they're secure and then I went around and unscrewed all the screws along the bottom of the case I think two or three of the screws didn't come out all the way when I unthreaded them and I just left them on the panel. I didn't bother trying to get them out completely. As long as they're not threaded into the case, it's not going to be a problem. And now just to keep in mind, you don't want to strip the heads on these screws. So when you are unscrewing them, you want to make sure your contacts are really tight and precise before you start cranking on them because you don't want to mess up these screw heads, right? So here we go, got two more screws to go. And all in all, this upgrade was still pretty straightforward. It took me about 10 minutes from start to finish. Shooting this video and editing this video took much longer than the install itself. Now this back panel was a little bit tricky. I never try to manhandle or force things out when it's related to a computer, so I try to be real gentle and it slid right out. And you can see that there are two tabs right there and that's where that back piece was holding onto the rest of the case. Now I'm pulling that bottom apart and I think that bottom left hand screw, even though I thought it was fully unthreaded, just had a tiny bit of thread left on it so it wasn't coming off. So I went ahead and unscrewed it just a tiny bit more. It should be completely disengaged at this point. There we go and it pops right off. Now, if this is your first time upgrading RAM, just keep in mind, you don't have to manhandle anything. Just be real gentle and be patient. Start to finish, even though I went really slowly, it took me 10 minutes, right? Now that I have the case off, I looked at the original RAM, the single slot, and I thought that the orientation of the second RAM stick would be the same, meaning the chip side would be facing down. So I went ahead and looked at Kind of the springs make sure the springs look good they're nice and flexible and then i kind of lined up the ram stick and i realized that the slots on the ram stick didn't quite match up it actually has to go in that arrangement with the chip side facing up so again i take my time i slide the ram stick in gently and then i just pushed it down a little bit and blam the spring sat in place and it holds the RAM in place. And that's all I had to do. Next I go reverse order, I put the case back on. This one was a little bit tricky because there's like these weird tabs in the front um, when I tried to put the case back on. And it took me a couple tries, I would get one side in and the other side would pop out and then the other side would come back in, <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, but overall it wasn't too bad. I suppose if you have the case um, really secure and screwed in correctly, it's going to be really hard to screw up this case because there are so many points of contact under it, so maybe that's a good thing to have. It is a fully plastic case on the Dell G15, but it feels pretty sturdy. I mean, I've had aluminum cases that feel really flimsy because they're so thin gauge metal, but in the case of the Dell G15, it feels pretty solid. Now, before I screw those last two screws in, I had to remind myself I gotta put that back piece back on. So I line up the tabs, slide it back in, and it pops right in. And again, you don't have to manhandle or force anything. If you're having to force, then that means something's not lining up. So just keep that in mind. I put the last two screws in place. screw them in, and then the last two back screws. It was really hard to screw these in and trying to get them on video, 
So I'm kind of fumbling with it here just because I'm at like a weird angle and I'm trying to screw in and I'm trying to get it on video. So <laughs> this is kind of the stupid looking part. So I probably look kind of goofy doing this. It was really awkward trying to get it on video, but you get the picture. I mean, it's really simple. The last two screws and that was it. All I had to do is turn on my laptop and confirm the new memory configuration. Like a little window popped up and said, did you change the memory? And then I hit confirm and I started it up and everything worked as it should. And in the end, I'll show you a little screenshot of our benchmark. I'll probably have a video later on showing more benchmark comparisons, but going with the dual channel RAM with the Ryzen 5800H made a huge difference. I mean, I had no idea dual channel RAM would make this much of a difference. My, um, my Fortnite settings were kept exactly the same, but I went from like 70 to 120 frames per second to a solid like 130 to 180 frames per second. It was insane. So anyways, I ran user benchmark at the end and here's a quick snip of it. The RAM performance was at 37.8% on the initial run. And like the GPU was at like a 67% and the CPU was at like a 95%. So it was really clear that the RAM was the bottleneck in our system. After I added that dual channel RAM, the benchmark jumped up to 67.5%. And it was clear with my Fortnite results that the bottleneck in our system was the RAM. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I know it was brief, but I just wanted to show you how easy and quick it is to upgrade RAM on a typical gaming laptop. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Bye.